Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel. So today's topic of discussion is one MCQ and the question is in front of you. Which carbonyl compound has maximum dipole moment and by the way why? So here four options are provided. Now if you want to know the dipole moment of carbonyl, you need to consider the resonance structure of carbonyl compound. This resonance. So this bond will open up and carbon will be positive, oxygen will be negative. By the way, you can say, sir, does it really happen? This is an ionic canonical form, its contribution is less in the overall structure. Agree. Now you can say, this is delta positive, this is delta negative. Then there is also a charge separation, and this charge separation is responsible for the dipole moment. Actually, the formula, if I say, you know, the dipole moment mu is equal to E multiplied by D. So charge multiplied by distance. So in this case, we need to prove that which compound has maximum dipole moment. So now distance point of view, if you say both are carbon oxygen double bond. So actually it's not that much different. But there is some other issue. So actually in this case, student, you need to focus on this part, the stability of this canonical form. If I draw the resonance of all the canonical form, you can see this is O minus, this is plus double bond here. So this is O minus plus double bond he here. O minus plus, by the way, there are no double bond here. And in this case, this is cyclohexanone. This is a simple thing minus plus simple now if i am able to find out the answer that in which case this canonical form is stable then i can say one thing okay this canonical form is more stable so its contribution in the overall resonance is more so the molecule prefers to remain in this form consequently dipole moment is expected to be higher now if you look at this molecule it's a simple positive charge on carbon negative charge on oxygen no extra stability agree no extra stability but here same story no extra stability but if you look at this part this part is student anti-aromatic anti-aromatic statement means extremely unstable so i can say this molecule will no, not not undergo do not want to undergo this canonical form so less chance Charge separation will be very less here. Now, if you look at this cyclopropenone, so in this case, this positive charge is stabilized. How? Because of aromaticity. I mean, this double bond will come here and this positive charge will be delocalized. So, this is minus. Right now, double bond here, positive charge is here. Further one canonical form possible. So, you can draw another one canonical form minus. No, no. So this is double bond plus charge will be here, nothing here. So actually you can conclude that, sir, the positive charge is O distributed in the ring. Fine, resonance is there. Not only that, it is aromatic. Aromatic means it is very stable. I repeat, aromatic means very stable. So here, in case of Huckel rule or 4n plus 2 number of pi electron rule, if you want to check, then here n value is actually 0. Then if n value is 0, the 2 remains. So here, 2 pi electrons are there. And because of that, this ring is aromatic. Now, the ring, one part is aromatic. Another part, here oxygen there. So if this positive charge is delocalized stable, so this canonical form will have a more contribution. So consequently, the dipole moment will operate in this direction. By the way, remember, this is the sign of dipole moment and the end of the positive charge, there is a cut. And towards the negative charge, there is an arrow and dipole moment is a vector quantity. So overall, the option A or this molecule has maximum dipole moment. Okay. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video may be useful. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.